Hey YouTube, just wanted to do a little uh, intro to a series I want to try out. And it's going to be on food for my cichlids. Um, these have been the food I've been using primarily. Uh, starting the, from the back would be the North Fin Cichlid Pellets. Uh, these are the 3 millimeter ones. I've tried anywhere from their 2 to four with the big fish series um, I think they're relatively good uh, but my fishes don't uh, they're not first picked or they don't eat them right at the front I think they're kind of like the last pick of the food uh, and right here in the center back is that uh, tetra jumbo men and my larger fish have been taking these food and they like it but it does cause quite a bit of mess in the tank um, with the with the fish chewing on it. Right here in the back is also the Cichlid Bio Gold Plus. I've used these, um, all the different variants from that, the red Bio Gold to the blue Sinking Bio Gold and the green uh, uh, Cichlid, I think it's like the Girl Formula. But this is the one I've been using for the most part. I started with the smaller pellets, but these are um, now the, the medium sized ones. And then um, right here I have the Tetra Crisp. Sometimes I get the color variation, um, but this one is just the, the crisp with the, um, I think the bow tin in the center. And then right here, this is the New Life Spectrum uh, Tropical Pellets. Uh, so far, not too much complaints about it, um, but um, I, again, kind of like the North Fin, they're not um, first picked from all the food that I feed. Uh, and then the Jumbo Krill right here. This is just a snack, and this one is kind of also finicky. Not a lot of the fishes eat them, but the ones that do take it, they, they like it. And part of it might be because some of my cichlids have not been, are not big enough. But yeah, that's what we've been using so far, and um, the idea is to uh, try these food over here. Um, and from here, we're going to try, um, this is the Cichlopella from New Life Spectrum. And then this one is uh, an ultra fresh one. Never heard of this brand before, but I um, got it from Amazon. Uh, supposed to be a carnivore one um, let's see how the fish take to it and then right here I have a sea cam I didn't even know sea cam make um, fish food but this is what um, I found and we're gonna try it out these are just flake food actually and I haven't fed flake for the longest time but we'll see how they take to it here and then at the end here I have the cichlid I mean the extreme um, big fella so the idea is just to um, feed the fish for a month with each of these food. So it's going to be a, a drawn out uh, series, I guess, with the weekly updates. If I, if the fishes don't take it, the, if they don't take the food up within that first week, um, or most of the fish aren't eating the food within the first week, then we're going to move on to the next food. Um, just because I, I think by that chance, or by that time, it's they're not really liking the food, then they're not gonna take it, and there's no point to move forward with it. And the whole point is just to see how the fish, um, what the fish like, to see um, what I want to continue to feed my fishes, and maybe find something new to add into the mix that I've been adding. Um, I have tried uh, Omega, Omega One, I believe, um, cichlid pellets as well. I've tried um, the Pet Smarts uh, cichlid granules and a handful of different other ones, but the mix I have here is the one that I, I like the most so far. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, if anyone watches this and would like to see um, one of these to be the start, uh, Feel free to comment um, if you've used any of these fish food and like them. Again, feel free to comment and um, share your opinions.
But yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to shoot this little video for. Um, do a little shot of the fish before I um, end the video. I guess as a starter of how the fish looks like at the moment. So, <clears throat> this is just my 125 community tank. And uh, everyone is pretty much the same. Uh, I did move two of my male red islatums out. And um, yeah, I took them to a local fish store because I didn't want to have um, multiple pairs of red islatums going on in the tank. Um, our boy uh, Convict is still here in the back. Um, still trying to be the tank boss. <laughs> Small as he is, he still wants to be that position. Um, and if, 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 I don't know if you can see it, but he has some scars too, to show um, that he wants to, or he's fighting for it. Um, his buddy, the Red Terror, is still with him. Um, I don't think he's she's submitting to him at all, but they're still hanging out here and there and there almost always going at it too, um, which is like a love-hate relationship, I guess. Um, and then there's our green terror right here. He, he's seen better days, but he's coming together too. Um, I don't know, we'll see. He, he's still got a little bit more healing to do, but he's doing good and in good health. He likes to, to ch chase you if you're at the um, tank. And then right here I have, um, this is the female Islatum. I think this is one the one that was paired off with my, uh, my dominant male from the past. And I did take him out, so she's lost some of her colorations. She was more, more closer to this, this Islatum in coloration because they were paired off. So that's sort of the breeding dress of the red Islatums. And our carpentus and our um, silver cichlid. I think they've been trying to fight out to see who's gonna be, um, I guess, higher ranking. It, the carpent or yeah, the carpentus used to be um, ahead of the silver cichlid, but he's been putting up a fight too now too. So we'll see. Uh, I don't think there's a distinct winner between the two of them, at least not as of yet. But for the most part, they get along. It's just little tussles here and there. And then I have one more female Islatum in here somewhere, but I can't seem to catch her now. And then, lo and behold, I still have that uh, other convict here too. Um, she minds her own business and only really chases anyone if they really get close to her territory. I still do have my um, two catfish. Um, and they're hiding in the back. My green tiger loach, he's also still in the tank. Also hiding, I hardly see him. I see him probably once a week. And um, I still have both my bristlenose pleckles as well. So um, again, usually don't see them, but here and there you'll catch them. And yeah, just wanted to show the fish. Um, see how they are before I start the series and um, again there are probably gonna be some uh, uncontrollable uh, factors that can change the fish the look of the fish um, these Islams are relatively young so maybe the their growth can they're like I guess the longevity of their time can just factor to their coloration um, but most of these other fish they're but they've been in here for a year a year and a half so they're they're a little more um, developed I don't think they're gonna be a drastic change in their size um, so um, we'll see how the, these food works and see if how the series work <laughs> if there's any um, Body watching it but yeah that's cool that's all I wanted to do with this video to show the fish a little bit 
introduce the food I use and introduce the food I will be um, trying out. So stick around um, and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, checking out.